Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the structure and function of phloem. Now we've already seen that the vascular bundle of plants contain two types of transport tissue. These are the xylem and the phloem. Xylem vessels are non-living and the job of xylem vessels is to carry water and dissolved minerals up the plant from the roots to the leaves. Now in the leaves the plant carries out photosynthesis which produces the sugar glucose. The glucose is used to form other compounds such as different sugars and amino acids and scientists call these compounds assimilates. Now the job of the phloem is to transport the assimilates from the leaves to other parts of the plant such as the roots or flowers. So that means that molecules can be transported both up and down the phloem. The fluid moving in the phloem is referred to as phloem sap. Now in contrast to xylem, phloem is a living tissue. Phloem actually consists of two different types of tissue and I'm showing them in this diagram. On the left we have a sieve tube element. A sieve tube element consists of a long line of cells arranged end to end. Inside these cells almost all of the organelles have been lost including the nucleus and vacuole. This leaves the interior of these cells almost entirely free to transport phloem sap. The end walls of these cells have been modified to contain large pores and scientists call these modified end walls a sieve plate. Sieve plates allow the phloem sap to move between the cells. Now as we've seen the sieve tube element cells have lost most of their organelles and this means that they cannot produce large amounts of essential molecules such as ATP. However, next to the sieve tube element cells there are companion cells. Companion cells contain a nucleus as well as large amounts of mitochondria. Microscopic channels link the companion cells to the sieve tube element cells. These channels are called plasma desmata and molecules such as ATP and proteins can move through the plasma desmata into the sieve tube element cells. So the role of the companion cells is to provide essential molecules to the sieve tube element cells. Now unlike xylem, phloem tubes do not contain lignin in the cell walls. However, phloem contains two types of tissue which provide support. These are called fibers and scleroids. Both of these have thickened cell walls containing lignin. Fibers are long and narrow, whereas scleroids have a variety of shapes. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe the structure and function of phloem. <laughs> 